Uh, this is very important to get this right. So that's the key. If it's unlocked, that then you can move this. Uh, and if it's locked, obviously you can take the key out. So you can't remove the key unless it's locked. So if it's removed, it's locked basically. So turn it to unlock position, pull the thing up. So it's important to pull it up so you get a little gap, then turn it clockwise and that will unlock the mechanism and it locks into place. So to disengage it, this will disengage the lock, effectively locking it into the tow bar. So if you want to get it prepared to go into the car, pull this up and then rotate clockwise till it clicks. And then if you imagine that's where that goes in, as you slide it up, it should automatically click. Very important, that needs to be in the green. That little symbol, if it's in the green, it's locked and that's down. If it's anywhere else, it's dangerous and shouldn't be used for towing. Rotate the key, pull it out. That's it, locked in position. You're not going to get it out of place now. So what's happened with this is the way it's gone wrong is the customer's basically not used the key um, and basically forced it into position. So if you rotate that, get it out, what's happened is they simply had it in the lock position and then they basically try to force it in. There's a bit of evidence here to, say it's, to show it's been hammered or something. But regardless, if you should not never do this. If you do that, it's basically got to push the locking locking pin out and basically make it work like it was before, which it's basically not working. It's unsafe to tow anything on that in that condition. Okay, thank you. Cheers.